feel, I sense a bad aura. Can I read your poem? Look, I really have to go. I have an appointment. But thanks for the offer. I'm just warning y'all. Look, we don't have any money, okay? Something really bad is about to happen. I can't believe you were so distracted that you lost the pizza. I know, I dropped the flower too on the way. Who cares about the stupid flower? You lost the pizza. I know, but I just couldn't stop thinking about what the lady said. Really? She's a con artist. But you had pneumonia. Shut up. Shut up? Do you take care of your health? You eat junk food and party all the time. Shut up. No. Look, we forgot flowers for Crystal. Yeah, we could talk, we could talk about that later. No, go get them right now. Okay, whatever. Oh, this dumbass forgot her keys. Emma! My name is Kat and I'm a paranormal transcendental. Join me in my adventures with my team as we uncover another conspiracy. This is Conspiracy with Kat. Hey guys, I have a new conspiracy and it's literally gonna knock your socks off. Like, it's so crazy. Spit it out, woman. Okay, so apparently back in like the 1950s after World War II, there was this huge demand in asylum hospitals because they needed to house all the victims of the war, right? Oh yeah, all the experimentation was banned in Russia, so they would send the patients over here to be covered. Yeah, but the Russian scientists, they came over here and they put their own hospitals and kept doing those experiments on them. Whoa, that sounds horrible. Yeah, they would do some crazy stuff to them, like they would tie their limbs together and make them eat their own flesh. Sounds like my Friday night. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Anyways, like the government found out 
So they shut the whole thing down and they arrested all the scientists and they gave them licenses. So what happened to the people? Well, nobody wanted to take care of them. So the government ordered mass execution of all the patients. Mm-hmm. And all of that happened in Texas? Why have I never heard of this before? Me neither. It must be one of those creepy pasta stories that little kids write online. No, there's actual documentation that shows the type of stuff that they would do to it. Look, I have some on my computer. Okay, so what does this conspiracy have to do with us? Are we going to go visit one? Kind of, but let me finish my story first. Okay. So after that, they had all of the buildings, right? So they decided to make... A mall? No, schools. Ew, is that even sanitary? No one knows, but guess what we're doing today. Can we even visit those places? I would expect them to be in the middle of nowhere. No, there's literally one right here in the heart of Dallas. It's called Peak Academy. Even the name sounds scary. I know. But before we do that, I wanted to call somebody up that used to go there so he could talk about his experiences and everything. If that's okay with you guys. Sounds cool. Let's go. Okay, so right now we have Pedro on the other line and he's going to tell us what happened. Hey Pedro. Hey Kat, nice to see you. So you want to learn about this spooky school? Yeah, actually we researched about it and we just kind of wanted to know what kind of experiences you had there. Yeah man, there's some freaky stuff going on around here. The lights flicker, the lights go up, and you hear the alarms go off in the hallways and every once in a while when you're by yourself you hear it tapping along. Oh my god, it's way more than I expected. Wow, very spooky. Yeah, just recently they had to take out the mirrors because some kids saw shadows running past them. It's real freaky. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'll see you in a week. Uh, yeah, for sure. At least uh, if they don't kill you, but... Uh... <laughs> okay guys, we're here at the school right now. Come on. It reminds me of my horrible time from high school. High school was so much fun. What are you talking about? Shut up and help me open this door. Here, I have something. Try this. Okay, come on, come on. Go in, go in. I should throw this paper policy and anyone throws it back. What the? Oh. 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 You good, buddy? Okay, guys, right now we're on the third floor. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's start the seance. I have everything right here. And the candle. And now. We talk to the ghost. Is anybody out there? Your mom. (laughs) What? Who? (laughs) You guys hear that? Let's go follow the sound. down somehow. You guys come around here thinking that it's all cool and chic to figure this out, huh? Everybody comes around here. Nobody ever tells me a thing until they pull off my mask. What's on the screen? That's none of your business!
get a man and don't come back you worthless excuse of a daughter you never will be anything in life get out my house now What's your name? My name's Squanto. Some people call me Squan. Well, my friends do. Why would anybody in their right mind name their child Squanto? Okay, well, listen. My mom was a pothead. She saw the name on a wrapper by a dump. It was like, hey babe, how about we name this little fucker Squanto? and ruin his whole life. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay, I like your laugh. It's cute. So this place that I'm taking you to is in West Dallas? Yeah, so my mom and I aren't really getting along, so I got in contact with my dad and he just said like, move in with him. You don't sound too happy about that. Do you not want to move in with your dad? No. What do you mean? Are you guys not are you guys not close? He has his occasional birthday cards every once in a while, mm -hmm. the little brief conversations on the phone. Mm -hmm. I haven't even seen him since I was four. So I'm leaving you with the stranger tape. Technically. Uh. My name's Shannon, by the way. Hi, Janet. Nice to meet you. Well, we are here. Dad? How do I look? Uh... Who are you? Janet? Where's my dad? Janet? Hmm. Oh! He's not here. So who are you? I'm your brother. Dad? Dad?
Son, I ain't talking to you. Well, don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Okay, okay, stop it, both of you. Corey, this is Squanto, my boyfriend. Squanto, this is Corey, my brother. Why is he here? Because you're never here. Like father, like son, huh? Don't compare me to him. Then where is he then? Why does he feel the need to have children and not even take care of them? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Like, you were the last person to see him. Where is he? He's gone. He won't be back. Get over it. What do you mean he's gone? What do you mean he won't be back? I don't know. I don't know. He's gone. And that's, that's how it's going to be. He's gone. Yeah. Dad?
Do you know who the people in this photo are? Why are you going around asking about these losers? Do you know them or not? I don't know. It's not my job to keep track of favorite jackass in this school. Just tell us everything you know about them. Well, I heard one of them broke their spleen while filming. Someone told me they're still sleeping in their mom's attic. They might be the biggest losers I've ever met. Guys, why does everyone think we're lame? They're just haters, man. Ignore them. Well, that doesn't make my feelings hurt any less. This is us. East, North, and myself, West. We are a group of anarchists that avoid paying taxes. It is for this reason we wear masks all the time. When eating, and basically everywhere. Hey guys, where's South? South was dead. Well, I'm sure he'll show up eventually. He wouldn't. I wonder what we could do to become more popular. So where's East? I don't know. He hasn't answered the group chat. Huh? huh? Hey guys. Where have you been? Well, it's a crazy story you see. I was being chased by this crazy guy and uh... Yeah right. Those things aren't real. Hey, what's that? You stop right there! Ah! With the IRS agent now dead, the gang was free to do what they pleased. I don't know if I want to continue with anarchy. We just killed a guy. Well, technically we didn't. His untied shoes and the stroke did. But we're still gonna be blamed. Let's give up our lifestyle. You think? Yeah, and do something that helps improve our community. And so, we became better people. East became the renowned professor with his ability to teach the blind how to read. And the rest of us finished the editing. Good morning, guys. It is I, David. Before I forget, now I'm ready. I am. Welcome to my beautiful school. This is one of the buildings here, the second building. This is where all the science and math goes on. All right, we're gonna go inside, take a nice peek. Ready? I guess we're here early today. Oh boy. Man, it looks like Texas out here. Blue skies, flat and green earth, and a bunch of Mexican. Oh, hey. So we're in the second building of the high school. We're about to go down a long hallway. Unlike my parents' um, marriage, which only lasted about one, two, three, four, five, about nine months. Now, in this building, we have our math and our science classes. No English, though, because hopefully, hopefully, they all know English. Hopefully. Here at the school, we like to fund our extracurricular activities, such as the art program. 
Actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's check out their artwork. A little switcheroo here. As you can see, they're really busy at work with their um, mountain of toilet paper. Anyways, looks like they're uh, enjoying their duty here. Let's go. Let's not bother them anymore. What a fun class. Hello, everyone. We're going to go to an iconic area here at school. Picnic area. Um, hey, cameraman, up here. God, dude. It's okay. Everyone make mix, makes mistakes. I just did one. We also have uh, the first building here and the building signed. <laughs> okay, here's uh, the picnic area. Oh, God. Oh, what is that smell? It smells really bad. Okay, let's go check out the source of it. Come on, cameraman. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. Oh, Jesus Christ, it is trash. Wow. Okay, that's really bad, actually. Oh. Hi. <laughs> this gives us a wonderful chance to talk here to the staff. Hola, señor. ¿Qué piensa de la escuela? Esta escuela es una mierda. Aquí todos me la pelan, son unos pinches cochinos que valen verga. He said he loves the kids and it's honest work. Ya me voy, pinche pendejo, aquí te quedas idiota. <laughs> what a nice gentleman. Our staff here is really helpful. Anyways, let's get out. I'm getting sick and tired of this. Oh, hey guys. This was the uh, pond I was talking about earlier. The stagnant one? Yeah. The water is a little too viscous for me. A little too thick. Oh, God! Oh, where's it burn? So we're here in the second floor. And I'm going to show you the amount of funding we put into our education system. Hmm. Okay. Have a nice day. Hey guys, we're here in the second floor of the third building. We're about to go to an IB program class. How exciting. Not many people here. I guess they're pretty privileged to be here. Hmm, we have a nice gentleman here. How do you know my name? How do you like the IB program? I like it a lot. Why? Because it means I can suck on helium. Cool. The funny thing is, this isn't even chemistry class, this is a history class. So I don't know why he has a tank of helium. Well guys, this is the end of this adventure. I hope you found Peak as, ex as exciting as I did. Yeah, all these fun memories here. Touching the pond was pretty uh, dangerous. You guys remember that? I'm gonna sue somebody here. Don't know who. Probably the janitor. Yeah. Wonder what happened to that paper mountain.
Freddy Krueger films, you don't like The Ring, you don't like any of those movies. I didn't say I didn't like them, they're just not scary. But I worked really hard on this. I mean, I just said I didn't like it, I just, it just wasn't that good. Okay, whatever. Okay. You really mad about this? Oh my god, are you really asking that right now? Yeah. Yes, I'm mad. Why? Do you not know how long it took? It took more than two months. No, they should still be out of town for the weekend. Come check it out. No. I'm not going out there. Oh, so I'm the guy in the relationship now. No.
go. It's a long way out from anywhere. You lost? I guess that's what you would call it. Do you want to lose your nuts? Don't get your panties in a wad. If I wanted to do something, I'd already done it. Where are you heading? As far as way as possible. Good. Because that's exactly where I'm heading. I stole my fiance's car. I should say, ex fiance. Late fiance. I started going west and I kept going west until the car ran out of gas. So then I started walking. I probably walked 10 miles before I saw anyone. Then you pulled up. And your fiance? He's dead on the floor with his lover in our bathroom. I caught him in the shower with his secretary. Typical. Was it worth it? <laughs> I'm sort of relieved. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Me? I've been out here my whole life. Your whole life? Yeah. Hit my first lick when I was 13. I've been on the run ever since. 13? Yeah. Seems a little young. I never knew any different. What about your parents? Dad, as far as I'm concerned. How'd you get into that stuff at such an early age? My ex-old best friend, Ray, taught me ways to hustle and scheme, you know, make a quick buck. And, you know, I never really had any parents, so... Ray was kind of like a father to me. Was. This is where you get off. 
what am I? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? I don't too much care. Can't I just stay here with you? Look here. I've done my part. Now you do your part and leave without being a pain in my ass. Wait. Here's a hundred dollars. Go get yourself a room or something. I have nowhere else to go. Get in. Not as mean and heartless as you make yourself out to be. Shut up. Give him a hundred dollars. Uh, I can't. Why? I lost it. Armand. Armand!
Hey, did you do your homework? You can't be slacking senior year. I'm not. I'm just tired, I guess. Are you texting mystery girl again? Yep, all night. It is nice having someone get to know you for you. You should try getting your head out of those books. Well, thanks. Maybe. When are you guys going to review yourselves? It's been months and this game of hide and seek can't be funny anymore. Well, it was until I found out how impossible it was to gauge people's true character when literally no one hears themselves. It has me questioning everything. Honestly, it's all in the clouds. Apparently, the school loses its crap if things aren't put in order, which I find ironic considering how they delivered our mask. Welcome to Sunstar High School. We appreciate you relinquishing your identity to us in exchange for an excellent education. We have decided you are fit to be a loner. You are not to have contact with higher ups such as jocks, bosses, or pretty girls. You may contact nerds, geeks, and wallflowers. But under no circumstances are you allowed to talk to wannabes, lames, or haters. Have your assigned mask on at all times and outside of school, social media included, feel free to be whomever you want. No mask. We couldn't care less. In school, reveal yourself to no one. Very to do so results in chaos among the student body. We've never had that before. Do not be the cause. See you tomorrow with your mask. Do you hate school as much as me? Hey, and yes, I actually do. You hate school, so you aren't a nerd? I could be. It's all labels anyways. I could be anyone. You aren't. You're special. Well, you are too. To me at least. I like you for you. Something tells me we are not the types who wouldn't normally hang out. So? That's okay with me. Not with the other 500 judgmental assholes who go here. We are almost out. We can get a clean start after May 24th. Move, wannabe. I just broke a rule. I saw this poor girl get pushed down and I helped her, but she's a wannabe. Yeah, it's not like I'm trying to be friends with a wannabe personally, but I do feel bad. I'm glad I helped, though. He's the loner. Hey, just making sure you're alright. You've been distant. I mean, I'm fine. No, you aren't. What? I'm gonna call. Hey, are you okay? I just hate, I hate how people never get to, get to know the true me. I know you. You like Drake and Taylor Swift, and you hate Tuna with a passion. I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah, well, my goal was just to make you laugh. Hmm, nice, yeah. You have a cheap goal. Can't wait me. to tell my mom about this. She'll finally be proud of me. Oh my god. Well, you do that. I gotta go. Okay. I'm just glad you're okay. Me too. I'm glad we're okay. Who are you texting? I'm worried about it. Obviously a child. Give me my phone, man. I swear, yo. Give me my phone. Oh, yeah. Give it back. Do you like the boyfriend? No, just give it back. Okay, so like, what do you get out of it? Like what? When you're a boss, you can do whatever you want. Don't touch me. If you touch me again, you don't know what I'm capable of. Okay. Then what you gonna do about it? Don't worry about it. All right then. But honestly, screw the rules at this point. Get lost. 
You know what? You don't want to be. You don't want to. Y'all ain't shit. So I'm out then. This is crap if things aren't put in order. Oh, no way, he really wants you. Yeah, it's not like I'm trying to be friends with a wannabe personally, but I do feel bad. Welcome to Sunstar High School. We appreciate you relinquishing your identity to us in exchange for an excellent education. 